All right, Lauren. Well, there are three weeks left in Alabama's legislative session. And more legislation is moving forward. One of those pieces can help the current trucking shortage in Alabama. News 19's Hannah Jones joins us live with more on details of that bill. Hannah. Melissa and Steve, House Bill 368 would increase the weight limit of timber trucks by 10%. For some vehicles, this could be as much as 10,000 pounds. Now, the increase in weight is a response to labor shortages and the lack of qualified younger drivers for the trucking industry. And the legislation also sets up a system of grants to nonprofit groups that would pay for more scale installations. The increase would be 10% of current limits, something the Alabama Forestry Association says would result in as many as 185,000 fewer truckloads on Alabama. Alabama roads each year. But Clay Ingram with AAA tells me Alabama's roads and bridges simply cannot take the added weight of these already heavy trucks, which can then cause a safety issue. Most of them are very old vehicles that appear to be in very poor condition and they're already stretching the limits of safety with these big heavy loads that aren't covered. Uh, usually the trees are much longer than the vehicle themselves. They're already very dangerous and increasing that weight limit for them to allow these vehicles to be even heavier on the roads um, it is, uh, is a very dangerous thing. Now, Ingram also tells me it is a safety issue for other drivers on the road as it makes it harder for these trucks to slowly stop and it changes their center of gravity. And again, the legislative session is starting to wrap up in the next couple of weeks. We'll continue to keep you updated on this bill as well as many others, both on air and on our website, whnt.com. Live this morning, Hannah Jones, News 19.